Hello researchers, thank you so much for visiting your Google Classroom and checking this video. What we are going to learn today is another important part of your research paper. So today what we are going to focus on is the significance of your research. Since you are now in the process of creating your own research, you should be able to identify the importance of this research paper or the result of this research paper to a certain group of people. Now, um, the objectives of this week's activities are identify and appreciate the importance of research in daily life. And I would like you to enumerate the importance or, or significance of your study and follow the correct format in writing the significance of the study. Um, I would like you to watch this video. Um, this is posted on your Google Classroom, so please spend time to watch this so that you would be able to understand more or re recall the importance of research in our daily lives. When we say the significance of the study, it is a written statement that explains why your research was needed. It's a justification of the importance of your research and impact it has on your research field. Its contribution to new knowledge and how others will benefit from it. Now, as researchers, you should know well the importance and the contribution or the contribution of your research once it is done. If you cannot identify that, I think you have to reconsider. Is your research really important? If it's not, do you really need to do it? So you have to be able to identify its impact specifically to your field to your track. So if you are ABM or TVL track, you should be able to identify the contribution of this research paper to your field. And especially um, its contribution to new knowledge and how others will benefit from it. Um, just remember, it identifies the beneficiaries and the benefits or contributions when the research is successfully done. Again, the beneficiaries refers to the people who are going to benefit from it. The benefits and contributions are the what or the how your research will benefit these beneficiaries. Now, there are some things that we have to consider in writing the significance of the study, and that is you should always refer to the statement of the problem that you created. In the past week, we were able to discuss and accomplish the vision, the issue statement, and the procedures, and also the specific objectives of your research paper. And I am glad because you were able to create um, the worksheet I have given to you for that. So if you successfully achieve your vision and specific objectives, how would it contribute to the group of people or society? Let me give you an example. Um, so this is the title or the um, sample statement of the problem. The researchers aim to determine the effects of the K-12 immersion program to the students of John J. Russell Memorial High School of academic year 2017-2018 engaged in. So this is the sample um, objectives or statement of the problem of the research paper. Now, how are we going to express or show or discuss the significance of this study? Now, I would like you to follow a format and style in writing your significance of the study. And I would like you to use the enumerated form as shown below. So you have here the significance of the study. The findings of the study will be beneficial to the following. 
you can rephrase this, but this is a gener generic introduction, but I would like you to rephrase this one if possible. And then you are going to list down the um, beneficiaries of your study. So this is an example, as you can see, Okay, this is an introductory sentence. Again, as I have mentioned, you can rephrase this one so that it would not um, look like copied. So you can, you can actually rephrase this, use your own words, but of course with the same meaning. And then you have here the um, list of beneficiary. This, um, at first, this time this is the students listed first and then the benefits or contributions or the explanations on how the study um, benefits the students is this this research might help them in building up an in-depth understanding about the new course in the curriculum that they should be aware and well oriented in addition, this study will help them to voice out their opinion regarding the work immersion program that they had undergone for 80 hours. So you can do the same like this. Um, you have to um, list first this, um, the name or the benefit, the group of beneficiaries, so this time students, and then ended with a period. This is a usual format, so you can do something like this and make sure that you have the explanation of how the study benefits these beneficiaries. Okay, then you can um, have, for example, teachers. This study might be useful, might be a useful instrument to empower the teaching, um, to empower their teaching in a way that it might become a guide since it will cater the thoughts and opinions of the students upon the hands-on learning experience. So that's how the study will benefit the teachers. There's also administrators, okay? And this one is um, a very common or, yeah, a very common and um, an always present beneficiary, future researchers. Okay, this research might be used by the future researchers as a basis for further improvement of the study or support in other related research researches. All studies, all researches have this beneficiary, the future researchers. Okay, because if you actually um, have a good research study or you have a good research paper, um, your research paper can be used by the next researchers as a reference, or they can actually use your actual research and improve it in case um, they want or they need to add some more information to understand the issue or the study. Now, um, the previous examples, you have the students, teachers, administrators, and the future researchers. They are just examples, so you, you can add other beneficiaries depending on your research paper. So, for example, if you are in business or um, even in TVL strand or track, you can use consumers or business owners, managers, entrepreneur, depending on your topic, depending on um, the people concerned to your research paper, okay? So please, um, you can observe also um, a writing style in um, making your significance of the study. You can enumerate the beneficiaries based from the most benefited to the least. All right, I would like you to follow a writing style. You can actually enumerate the beneficiaries based from the most benefited to the least benefited. So, for example, if you think that the students are the primary group of people 
who are going to benefit from your research study, then you can write that. So it depends on your um, it depends on your research paper. If you think that um, the result of your research paper will benefit or will contribute more or the most to the consumers, then you can write consumers first, followed by business owners or managers, and then entrepreneur or teachers. So again, it depends on you. So you have to discuss that as a group and then analyze or assess as to which group is the most benefited or, or who will be the most benefited by your research paper. I hope that is clear. So I have here some important notes in um, writing style. Enumerate the beneficiaries based from the most benefited to the least benefited, as I've mentioned a while ago. You have to be specific and direct to the point. Okay, so please just make um, uh, make it uh, direct to the point. Do not um, do not provide citations anymore. Do not explain too much. Just be specific and be direct on how your research will benefit those beneficiaries. Now, since it's specific and direct, it has to be short and simple. So you can use simple words only, words that you understand and that your readers will understand. Okay, so please take note of these um, important points. Now, um, I would like you to um, create the worksheet along with the um, scope and delimitation. So I'm going to create one, I'm going to give you one worksheet that includes already the scope and delimitation and the significance of the study. And I would like you to submit that before our meeting this week, okay? I hope you have learned something from this video. If you have some questions or clarifications, you can consult with me anytime, just send me a message and I will try to explain to you the concepts that are unclear to you. So good luck researchers. Just do your best, collaborate and communicate with your members so that you would be able to have a good outcome. Good luck and thank you for watching this video. See you in the class.